experience is still very passive. You still got to use your fingers. Oh, man. Tell me about it. I remember one thing. There's there's a few things that I always like. One, I wanted to control a music software just to basically telepathically. You know, that's very cool. Very cool. Um, two, which I think I do have a headline for, is I want to freaking read without holding a book but also have Audible in my ear. So give me glasses, Apple. You said you're releasing something in 2022. They might be releasing the headset according to Mac Rumors and some famous Mac Rumor guy. Damn, I think that's too soon. It, it, it does look too soon. By the, by the visual visualization that I'm seeing that is not Apple-based, but people talking about it, um, it's still a headset and not glasses. Um... It will yeah, look like an iPhone 2 in the future. You say what? Those glasses won't be out for a while. That's all I want. I want I want glasses that can read me my book while I while I read the book. And you know, at the end of that, it might just be implanting knowledge into the head. But I like a good book read. You know. What if it's like so like instead of headphones, the the glasses vibrate on your temple, and that's how you like hear. I think that's a, that was a thing with another thing. No, nasty. I'm pretty. It's it's bone conduction. No, I think that they use it for cochlear implants. It 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 rings off the skull and like helps deaf people hear. I think that's a thing. How much money would it cost to develop that? Billions. They got it. <laughs> they got they got billions in the bonds, bro. They got cash on the side. Damn, but they probably just have like crazy experience experiments going on with Apple. And not one person has access to everything. It's pretty decentralized, you know. Except maybe Tim. Tim Tim Loki might not know about a couple projects. I think Tim doesn't know about a lot of stuff. He just sees like the on purpose final though, products. or like. <laughs> well, there's so much stuff going on at Apple. That's what know? I'm saying. Not on, not on. Like he's like walled out of it. Just... He probably makes like he probably hits like a couple meetings a day. Makes a couple big decisions. You gotta do the most important stuff, and then does some you know, fucking keynotes. Delegate. Fucking, I don't know. He's probably, my thing is like, like most people just think about the American business of Apple. Like there's a whole other bunch of countries he's probably thinking about too. Like China, shipping, production. Also, they have a goddamn TV studio. Also, what if we get sued again? We got to get our, we got to get our, uh, we got to get our lawyers like, right? Your camera zoomed out as your as your phone rang. The camera zoomed out, really? Yeah, That's looks better. I like it. I do see your vacuum though. I wonder why I did that. As your phone rang. But my uh my um my camera like my FaceTime thing on my computer is up too, and it's also using the camera. Mm -hmm. So they're like, like both phone. using the camera. Mm. Is it gonna zoom back in? That was weird. <laughs> Um, I want glasses that can read me, but I want very efficient book reading. Okay. I just want to be, give me some technology that gives me efficient book reading. Is it still a book at that point? I don't care. I mean, in, in uh, a, uh, you can call it, you can call it something else. I'll still call it a book for a couple years. Um, I don't know yeah, if, it, if that, uh, evolves into just like shooting information into your brain. I don't know if I'm down with that or if I don't like that. I think I like it. Um, and then also, which I, I recently saw things that I saw like baby steps towards, but just medical technology that allows you to hack your life via chemicals and, and tracking of stuff. What's hack your life mean? Giving you metrics about your biology uh, for food habits or interaction habits or or activity habits that puts you either in a, a good mood or a progressive mood toward a goal. If you saw, hey, Ricker, you haven't been happy enough today, would that make you happy? Maybe do a little better marketing than that. 
but but <laughs> you but should it smile would, more it would, today it your would show smile you smile levels are low but it tells you what activities are potentially leading to the chemicals in the brain that are signaling sadness hmm. yeah, pretty cool there is a thing that uh so google has a health division mm -hmm. it's very interesting it's called something with a v but they, google... they i think i've heard of it it's it's not a google thing it's a subsidiary they have google vc though they have a couple uh, investment branches as well something with the it's like virality but maybe not um let me see if i can find something um but they they had something that would prick your skin uh, the size of a quarter and it like tracks diabetes through like the natural electricness of your body that's pretty close little little baby steps towards what i'm thinking of pretty cool stuff damn so much going on yeah just a lot of stuff you know but then sometimes you just gotta sit and look straight sit and look straight <laughs> like what's the last time you could sit and look straight and notice your thoughts rolling by and just let them roll by and not get all caught up in them oh god i don't know what we'll try to do it on the daily I don't, even know, I don't even know what that means so, not <laughs> caught up in your thoughts like not thinking no no, no. uh so it's a, a meditation thing where uh you're very aware of your thoughts it's not like you're not trying to think but you're i kind of brought it up before but you're aware of your thoughts appearing just like a, like a sound appears and you don't get attached to it and kind of just let it roll by and then go back to the neutral state of just kind of awareness. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell you. I can't tell the difference. I just think. Yeah. And sometimes I just ignore the thoughts. Sometimes it, I just ignore the feelings. Uh, being aware of the thoughts popping up and then aware of like y you are not your thoughts because you don't choose your thoughts is anxiety a thought or a feeling there might be some chemicalness with that um i feel like sometimes that's i get anxious i'm like oh this isn't helpful i'm just not gonna think about this feeling I'm just gonna ignore it huh. that might be less biochemical um i mean anxiety might just i don't know because I, I, I feel like anxiety is a lot more chemical but it could not anxiety said some anxiety so someone told me anxiety is just thinking fight or flight good. response oh really but when there's nothing to fight and nothing to run from you still get the same feeling so you kind of feel trapped huh yeah so whenever i feel that i'm just like all right well is it triggered by thinking about certain things or just like random sometimes certain things sometimes like i'm like oh what if this happens you know yeah yeah that's just kind of thinking about the future <laughs> yeah it's a thing though because <laughs> you don't choose your thoughts I'm not really choosing what's coming out of my mouth right now i'm just kind of talking i'm not consciously thinking about the words that are coming out because from my perspective right now you don't really choose what you're thinking about just they just appear and the, the the practice is to realize that they're just appearing like anything else in the world like a plane i don't choose if i hear a plane and i don't really choose the certain thoughts that is in my mind do you think though at least for the talking portion that kind of like runs away from responsibility of things that you say there, there's a whole responsibility thing about it it's a, it's a thing from Sam Harris, um, and he he's in the camp that there's no free will. Uh, I think his response was that you still have responsibility for what you say and actions, but you're just not consciously bringing them into the forefront of your brain. So, like, if I were to say like an extremely, so first of all, I would think an extremely racist joke, right? But I can't really control that is what you're saying, the thought. But I feel no, like I can. I feel like I have the thought, all right, time to think of something racist, and then something it, pops up. But you're not choosing to think that. Like, even if you, if you have, he says, if, if 
you think you have you're choosing between two things to what to say or what not to say that is still an unconscious decision popping into your brain like you say i want to say apple like i it sounds like i choose i wanted to say apple but i didn't really choose out of all the things that is implanted in my brain to say i didn't choose apple like i could i have chosen anything else do you choose to talk about I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> it's. I mean, if you're in a conversation with somebody and you're talking, um, it's it's almost reactionary the words that you say next. Like if if someone's saying one thing, it, it'll probably influence what comes out your mouth, and it's usually unconscious. Okay. Yeah. I see. Do you? No. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say I don't see. Yeah. Some some Harris Sam Harris YouTube videos. If anyone's interested about it, he's Sam obviously Harris. thought about it. Um. But the the meditative thing, it's kind of it's kind of a thing you kind of it's a lot more experiential, and all this kind of just comes from that. Um. But it's just you know. Being aware of thoughts appearing. Like when you're sitting, if you if you sit and try to, you know, meditate, say you try to meditate, thoughts are coming into your head. And the practice is that un just like anything else that appears in front of you, thoughts appear in front of you without your willing them. But then it kind of goes back to like, are you sure it's, I'm, I'm willing my thoughts? You just kind of have to experience it, I suppose. Yeah. But God damn. If anyone is interested in that, 